Next question. We have been given a 100 Mbps link between an earth station which is a sender and a satellite which is a receiver at an altitude of 2100 kilometers. The signal is propagating at a speed of 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second and we need to determine the time taken in milliseconds and rounded off to two decimal places for this receiver to completely receive a packet of size 1000 bytes transmitted by the sender. Now here the sender is earth and the receiver is a satellite over here. So the distance would be the altitude between them. Let us note down all the parameters. First of all the distance that will be same as the altitude given which is 2100 kilometers. The bandwidth of the link is 100 Mbps. So 100 megabits per second. The signal is propagating at a speed of light which is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second and lastly the length of the packet is given to be 1000 bytes. Now we have to determine the time taken for this packet to reach from sender at the earth to receiver in this satellite. So the time will actually be TT plus TP because first we'll need to this is our packet we need to transfer Put that packet onto this link so that will take TT amount of time transmission delay and once it is transmitted on this link then we can propagate it from this point A to this point B so that will take TP which is the propagation delay time. So let us calculate this TP and TT independently. We know that this formula for TP is given as d by v which is distance upon velocity so that will become the distance which is 2100 and kilometers so we'll write that as 10 cube meters and then we have velocity which would be 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second so we can take the seconds above these will get cancelled out and then we shall get this 3 is 7 times so we have 7 into 10 raised to 5 upon 10 raised to 8 seconds so this translates to this 5 will get cancelled out and we will be left with 3 so this becomes 7 by 10 cube seconds but since we want the answer in milliseconds this 10 cube will be combined with this and this will become 7 milliseconds in total so that is our propagation delay now let us look at the transmission delay which is L by B the length of the packet divided by bandwidth that will become 1000 bytes upon the bandwidth which is 100 mbps so for this m we will write that as 10 power 6 and it is a b so we'll convert that into bytes so we will multiply 8 on the numerator side then this will get converted into bytes and this second will go above so now we will cancel out this b these two zeros will get cancelled out and what we are left with 80 upon 10 raised to 6 seconds but now we want the answer in milliseconds so this three zeros will be consumed by that this will become milliseconds then we have 80 upon 1000 so that becomes 0 0.08 milliseconds this is our transmission delay and our answer was tt plus tp so we need to add both of them together that will give us 7 plus 0 0.08 equal to 7.08 milliseconds so this is the total time it will take for the packet on this earth station to successfully reach up to the receiver which is a satellite and this was a numerical type question so its answer would be 7.08